Here at the LGA annual conference in Harrogate, it's time to talk to Councillor Keith Ross, the leader of the independent group at the LGA. Thanks for joining us. First of all, what's the big thing for you at the conference here? As every conference we have every year, it brings together something around over a thousand delegates from across the country. It's great to bring them together to be able to uh, network with them and talk to them generally about the current issues, where we've uh, been in the past, where we're going in the future. Which speakers are you particularly looking forward to hearing? I think really the, uh, the, the party chairman or party leaders, I would say, and, uh, and John Denham from the, the new Secretary of State. Um, really looking forward to what they have to say. Obviously, uh, I think David Cameron is going to have something to say about what he thinks government will be in the future. Not a foregone conclusion, though. What's big for the independent group at the moment? What are you working on campaigning for? Well, the independents have just uh, recently, um, in the last county elections, uh, increased their share of, uh, of members. We've gone up from 7.1 to 7.6%. Uh, that makes us a little bit stronger at the LGA. Um, and, and working with, with our political partners, we just hope that everything is going to uh, evolve into something much better again for local government. And you're also working on reducing top-down assessment from the Audit Commission. Absolutely, yes. The, the, the new setting, setting the pace agenda, which is, which is the IDA and the LGA coming together with the Leadership Centre, to offer something that actually there's more self-regulation within local government rather than um, what we have at the moment, a very um, a heavy handed approach sometimes by the Audit Commission. It would be nice if we, could, uh, if we could actually make those improvements ourselves within the family. Councillor Keith Ross, thank you very much. Okay.